Introducing here our little 1 meter tray, which we call the box, since it was designed back in 2015 to fit in a cardboard box 1 meter long. Now it has had a dose of steroids and is just over 110 centimeter long, thanks to a gantry stuck on the back end of the main hull to push the rudder further away from the foils. And by fitting the foils transversely instead of vertically, its beam has sprouted to the full mini 40 beam of 122 centimeters. And in fact, it could go wider. And now it is carbon Kevlar instead of fiberglass, so it has lost 700 grams. And Dave in Mandra has waved his usual magic with solving all these new construction challenges. I unpacked the boat on Tuesday, and four evenings and a full Saturday later, I had a boat that was more or less ready to go sailing, though with a list of things still to sort out. This morning I started off with the number three rig since I had absolutely no idea what was going to happen then moved up to the number 2, and then again to the 1 minus, which is a fraction under the full size for the boat. These were the only rigs I'd managed to put together this week anyway, so I didn't have a lot of choice. You can see the main issue I need to correct. The rudder T-foil has too much downforce, and although I can adjust it while sailing, I need to drill a new hole in the lever to change the setting to give me more adjustment to reduce downforce. Another problem is that the main boom is a fraction too low, and is hitting the battery pot and I need to stiffen the mast on the one minus rig to, give, to remove the diagonal creases and stiffen the top batten. But these are all easy to resolve, and it was a release, relief to see the boat foiling as soon as it touched the water, which is very satisfying. The foils are smaller than on the Mini 40, and the boat is skidding sideways on the foiling reaches, more so than the full-size boat, but this is not necessarily an issue. The boat also fell off the foils a few times when under pressure, but changing the T-foil setting might solve that. It's a lot lighter than my Mini 40, and is much more sensitive to sail, which is good fun. And I can feel it foiling earlier in lighter winds than the big, bigger and heavier boat. I've taken a bit of a gamble with the masts too, making them out of 12 and 10mm diameter tube sections, eliminating the 14mm tube that I usually use for the bottom section of the mast. The aim here being to reduce weight where possible. I'll first try to stiffen the number one minus rigs mast with lower shrouds to see if this does the trick. The bottom of the gantry is in the water when moving slowly, something we thought might happen, and I might move the winch and battery further forward in the main hull to change the center of gravity, something to consider next year. And we even fitted a shelf in the main hull in front of the mast for just this situation. But we'll sort out the other issues first. Anyway, a very satisfying first sail, and considering how many new ideas we incorporated into the boat, it was a good sail, and it's a pleasing way to end the year, and justified the late nights this week.